The church cares, and so does the St. Raymond Anandas Foundation for Freedom, Family, and Faith. Hi, I'm Ann DeSantis, Executive Director. In 2015, the Mercedarian Friars came together because they wanted to start a foundation to help families in crisis. And that's exactly what we've been doing over these years. Whether it be something to do with divorce, separation, trauma, job loss, loss of a loved one, or other adversities, we've helped so many families get through those tough times through the spiritual works of mercy. We'd love to hear from you. Please do get in touch with us for our services. They are prayer, priestly consultation, podcasts and videos, and programs and events. We look forward to hearing from you. Just go to nonatis.org and get in touch with me. I look forward to hearing from you. God bless. Fiat Ministry Network and Patchwork Heart Ministry present Journeys in Faith. Now, here's Andy Santis. Good evening. Welcome to Journeys in Faith here on Fiat Ministry Network. This is Andy DeSantis, and here we are with the founder of Fiat Ministry Network on this show and the founder of Patchwork Heart Ministry, great friends of ours. Hello, Kent Kalhoski and Bill Snyder. Thanks for joining me on the show. And always a pleasure to share the airwaves with you. It's great to be here. Hi, Ann. That's How are you doing? Hi, Kent. Yeah, and we haven't done anything like this in quite a while, so it's great to be back together again to, to catch up on some things. But mostly we want to talk about something that the two of you are collaborating together, not just with yourselves, but with some other people on something called the Man of the Shroud exhibit. Uh, there's so much to unpack there. Why don't we just start with you, Bill? How did this come to be? Yeah, um, it was uh, pretty wild. You know, um, Kent and I spent uh, a lot of time uh, talking about different programming, what we can do really to elevate, you know, both of these platforms, right? Like, I mean, we're all so closely collaborating all the time. Patchwork Heart Ministry, Fiat Ministry Network, St. Raymond Otis Foundation. Like we just are all, um, I think, pretty comfortable collaborating with each other over the pandemic. And so Kent and I uh, often have these little brainstorms, you know, whether it's uh, through Facebook Messenger or text message or whatever. And we say, hey, you know, we, what, what could we do? You know, um, and, you know, one of the things was, you know, that Kent has some amazing friends, uh, Brian Walsh being one of them, uh, who's the uh, head of the Shroud Center in, um, in down in uh, Richmond, Virginia, I believe. And so uh, he was like, hey, you know, I'm taping him and we're doing some things. And, you know, maybe we can um, brainstorm about doing some different programming with him and a documentary um, on the Shroud of Turin. And uh, we, as normally I'm doing, you know, going through some drive through somewhere, you know, on the phone with them, um, we're, we're chatting about all these ideas and this one really started to take off, right? Um, he, uh, we, we began brainstorming this idea to uh, do a documentary on the Shroud of Turin. Um, and so it's actually come to be, we've done several shoots of this. Um, we're looking forward to a July release. Uh, the, the title of the documentary is going to be called, um, who do you say I am? But the Man of the Shroud exhibit that you referenced, Dan, is a large piece of this because uh, it's a traveling exhibit that goes around the United States and uh, any parish can have it for free. Uh, they just have to go pick it up, of course. And when you bring it to your parish, uh, you set up these 34 or five different panels that uh, go up and they explain the, the shroud and then they have a full length replica of the shroud and a life size crucifix. Um, based with the wounds based on the shroud. Uh, so 
it, it's a very moving exhibit and people who walk through it see an incredible beautiful um, faith-filled moving experience and we wanted to bring this out um, in the documentary but also uh, bring in expert testimony from uh, some incredible people like Brian uh, we also have another uh, wonderful uh, person who is helping us with that uh, his name is Richard Bernaches and he spent his entire uh, life many years 20 years 30 years uh, going through the shroud uh, and uh, both of them would tell you that they have dedicated their life to this because they truly believe that this is uh, Jesus's burial cloth and and the implications for what that means for our faith are massive so we really want to bring this to the screen bring it to um, you know television to, to movie theaters uh, so that people can uh, encounter this and understand it from a faith-based perspective not just purely scientifical uh, there's plenty of that evidence but you know who do you say I am right uh, so, Kent, I don't know what I missed there, but I'm sure I missed several <laughs> several things, so I'll let you jump in as well. Yes, please do, Kent. Yeah, no, um, I, I think one thing that I really enjoyed, you know, doing it, you know, having, you know, Bill, of course, but, you know, the, some of the recordings, I mean, I brought my kids and, you know, they're old enough to kind of get an idea of, what's going on what we you know went through and checked out the uh, exhibit and um i i think one thing is there's a lot to you know when when i was doing some of the recording um um i actually went down to a parish about two hours away and just a lot of people were very you know looking you know really studying it and and one thing that you'll get hopefully into the documentary is all the insights. I mean, there are a lot of people that, you know, I didn't even talk to that. I wish I had some film of them, but I, you know, you have to ask them permission and all that, but how they studied the shroud. I mean, really studied it. And so I, I think one thing is just understanding how important, you know, understanding the shroud and what it means to people i mean the encounter the you know encountering christ uh, uh, there's a lot of times uh, tech was a uh, a retreat to encounter christ i mean to really encounter christ to look at the shroud is really encountering and to have that personal testimony i mean that's kind of how you know fiat came to i mean for on my end um hearing testimony i think testimony of anything will touch hearts because one thing uh we were doing and bill uh w was on the uh call talking to brian and just there was a couple encounters that he heard from people that were just like wow i mean we wish we could have met them because there was a lot of insight in that personal encounter of the trail and that's, I think, the big part of the, you know, what we're trying to display during the uh, documentary. It's a, it's an amazing, a truly amazing collaborative effort between the two of you and these other two gentlemen. And so I, I appreciate both of you sharing with that. Uh, would you be able to explain a little more detail where what your roles are with doing this? Because it's just an exciting thing. I can't wait for July. It's a beautiful trailer. I'm sure that we're going to show it sometime during this program. People sure. can can take a look. Uh, but tell us about what your roles are. Maybe we'll start with you, Bill. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think the Holy Spirit really just kind of defines the roles as we go along, mm -hmm. to be quite honest. Uh, because, you know, Kent and I, again, we're, work so closely. So um, it's, it's just about, um, you know, communicating with one another and saying, hey, you know, what do you think? Think about this idea i think we're both producers i think we're both directors i think we're both um you know all of those things uh as as most uh, small production companies uh, like we are would would be uh, but you know yeah we just bounce ideas off each other uh we we obviously pray for one another quite a bit um but 
but in developing this, um, I think both of our gifts and talents end up shining through. Um, you know, I, I mean, we can't do it alone either. I mean, you know, we have people who are supporting us and helping us put displays up and um, all of these different things too. So we are, we are, uh, you know, I'm, I'm indebted to my pastor, Father Michael uh, at St. Francis of Assisi for letting me set up the whole exhibit and film, film for a weekend, you know, at his parish. Um, so there's so many different people that go into this, but, um, you know, the role certainly, you know, I think any uh, production company would tell you would be, you know, producer, director, uh, writer. Um, and, you know, of course, we got voiceover artists and all these people that are going to be helping us put it together. Um, you know, we're, we're just super excited to uh, do this. Uh, and, you know, number one, we hope this is the first of many. Um, things like this that we're able to do together uh, and we hope parishes get on board we hope um, we have a we have our website I'll just quickly give it here uh, patchworkheart.org slash shroud if you go over to our website you can um, actually find out how you can bring the uh, the the whole uh, experience of this film to your parish um, and all of that stuff but yeah we're we're real excited about putting this together. So as far as roles go, um, I would just say, you know, we're listening to the Holy Spirit and, and doing what needs to get done to make this happen and bring it to the screen. That's really beautiful. And, uh, and that's how God works, isn't it? I mean, the way that he works is just bringing people together. Kent, I didn't know if you had anything you wanted to add to that. Well, um, I, I think one thing, you know, uh, Bill was really touching on all the points. And um, I, I think one thing that you know we're getting out and reaching out to hopefully parishes and and i think that's the best way i mean nowadays you're you're trying to figure out what ways to share um and i think with everything coming back uh p people are coming back to parishes and you know trying to find things to be get together and to have opportunities like this to share something that's very important about our faith and to maybe help, you know, support some kind of financial funding of the parish through a, you know, a film like this, I think can help a lot of parishes because, you know, that's kind of the way, you know, you have to work together. I think that's one thing that hopefully we, we, we're working together right here in different ministries and different organizations. I mean, we need to do that in all parishes and not feel like we're divided and in, into different, you know, you know, areas of the parish to be together and to have something like this that everybody hopefully believes in. And that's the thing about the, I mean, a couple of years ago, you know, 33% of Catholics believe in the, the presence, you know, of, of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. I mean, w something's wrong there. And I know there's a revival of the Eucharist coming up. Um, this is another point where do you think, who, who do you say I am in this? And so I think that's one thing that all parishes can, you know, take out of this. Mm, amen. Who do you say to that I am? That's a perfect way to end before we go to our commercial break. So just give us a few minutes. We'll be right back here on Journeys in Faith. The Shroud of Turin is one of the most researched and studied relics in church history and profoundly impacts many who encounter its mystery. As a person of faith, looking at it through the eyes of faith, um, I don't think it can help but, uh, but touch your heart. Something that we can look on, not only to bolster our faith in those moments of weakness, but also to deepen our faith and our appreciation, our intimacy with Christ. Join Fiat Ministry Network and Patchwork Heart Ministry as they examine the science of the Shroud through the lens of faith. Really interesting scientific information that I, we didn't know about, uh, like the pollen from all the different regions of the world. That's all, as the Shroud traveled around, it picked that up. Some of the mites. Uh, Things like that was really interesting to me. I mean, this made you really want to believe it a lot more. It's impressive. Like, humanly, I don't think, like, that is another level of love. It's not a, a, a I'm going to see people like, oh, I love you, I'll give you a chocolate. No. I'm giving you more than my life. 
and give you my suffering. Asking both experts and disciples, who do you say I am? Um, as far as who the man of the shroud is, I, as a, as a person of faith and kind of reviewing the evidence there, it, it seems that a convincing argument can be made that it's, it's Jesus of Nazareth. Visit patchworkheart.org slash shroud to learn more and get exclusive behind the scenes updates for your support. Welcome back to Journeys in Faith. Thank you for joining us. And during that break, you got to see the trailer for Who Do You Say That I Am for this beautiful um, Man of the, of the Shroud exhibit and for the work that Bill Snyder and Kent Kohoski and a couple other people, more than a couple other people, are doing to bring this to you in July. So maybe if the two of you, maybe we'll start with Bill again. Um, tell us what can we expect over this next month and into July of what's going to happen, what we'll start to see uh, as we watch um, and look out for this. Yeah, so uh, number one, if you do go over to patchworkheart.org backslash or slash shroud, um, you will get, see all the information there to, um, to help you know support the film one of the things that we do have is a um, buy me a coffee site and if you register at the buy me a coffee site as we're editing this you know and, and i think it's ten dollars a month uh, to help us support the production of the film uh, as you can imagine there are cost to production costs to uh, produce a film so uh, those people who are the insiders right that, that want to support us in that way uh, you're actually going to be getting some updates that the rest of the public wouldn't get uh, we're going to have some behind the scenes footage some uh you know some maybe, maybe a few outtakes here and there but um you know some some exclusive trailers for, for you uh, and those supporters again it's very simple you just get over to patchworkheart.org backslash shroud uh you'll be able to uh get you know access to that uh buy me a coffee website um you know or that or that platform where you can support us monthly uh, to, for the production of the film and then at the end of that of course uh, you know you will give you the option to be able to uh, get that at a reduced you know actual film at a reduced rate um, but the other big thing I think and I want to encourage people to do uh, and especially people who are um, leading different ministries or if you're a pastor is to um, look at the website and register for the enterprise license and as Kent was talking about just before the break where um, we really want to focus about getting this out to as many people as possible um, and also help parishes uh, rebound from the pandemic. So what, you, what we can do for you is we can get over to that website. You're going to see a Google form there. And when you fill that Google form out, uh, I think you see it on the screen right now, when you, when you fill that out, um, what's going to happen is um, you can register for a date and time and it's it's seven hundred and fifty dollars to bring this to your parish. That means that you get uh, licensing rights to show the film for one year to as many different people as you want. You can have showings at a movie theater. You can show it in your parish center. Um, you can show it in small groups uh, and have small group breakout discussions with it. Uh, you can do whatever you would like with this um, for a full year for seven hundred and fifty dollars. And what many parishes would do is show this at a movie theater or show it in their um, particular, you know, big parish hall or whatever and sell tickets and they can raise uh, money above and beyond that $750 fee. You can have three or four showings, um, you know, and, and raise some money for your parish uh, to rebound after the pandemic or, or whatever while growing the faith, you know, of your parishioners, right? Um, and having these important discussions. So, of course, you know, that hot, but in time of the shroud is, of course, Lent, and you know we can prepare uh, you well for that. Um, you know, several months in advance, um, and know that you know uh, Kent or myself, we're willing to uh, work with you. We're willing to you know speak to you virtually or in person. Um, you want to have little small groups or know how stuff happened uh, behind the scenes. We're happy to do that. So um, you know that's what you can kind of expect over the next several months. I'm sure we're going to have some more public trailers. We have a couple more filming dates and meetings. Um, you know, with Brian as we uh, wrap up the filming. So I'm sure we'll have a few more public trailers. For those who don't subscribe, uh, stay tuned to our YouTube channels because we definitely will 
be putting out more um, you know trailers and more information uh, on how you can get it and bring it to not only your you know your home but also to your parishes so um, super super excited yeah well said I'm personally really excited about it and and the more I watch the trailer the more excited I get so <laughs> I just want to thank you both Kent did you have anything to add to what Bill just said about this whole idea with the licensing and how it can help parishes well, I, I think, I mean, uh, he covered, but I mean, really, I, I think with the uh, price and all that, um, I, I think throughout the year, you can really have multiple times to take advantage of this other than Lent. I understand that's the, you know, most important time uh, that, you know, valuable time to use it, but you can use it throughout the year um, because I think it's something that you can be touched by throughout the year that's one thing that you kind of like why is christmas the you know all these different times at easter and why do we just focus on certain things at the those moments why not take it throughout the year so i think that's one thing that i would kind of you know add to it is to try to take it throughout the year or section it off quarterly or whatever you want to do but make make it a you know, kind of a way that, you know, for even, you know, young uh, adults, you know, even the youth groups, you know, have different, you know, ways to do it for different groups in your uh, parish, not just, you know, maybe make it kind of um, a, a small group and, and then also build it for the, uh, you know, whole parish, but you know, you can be creative in, in how you do it. Um, but yeah, Bill explained it perfectly. And so I, I'm just saying, you know, try to spread it out and make, you know, it worth the uh, time and the effort for you to take a, you know, supporting us in this endeavor, but then supporting your parish um, and the parishioners in the parish. Yeah, it's to me what it sounds like is what I call win-win, meaning it's it's yeah. a win both ways. And so I also want to make a shout out to those watching. If you are, you know, a priest or a religious or someone who works in the church or a diocese, archdiocese, or even those nonprofits, um, you know, keep an eye. This is something that you might want to look into. Um, again, Bill, can you tell them that email address to get that information, or do they just simply go to the patchworkheart.org website? We also do have an email. Yeah, it's very simple. It's uh, shroudfilm <laughs> at patchworkheart.org. Uh, so you can reach out to us there. Uh, but yeah, you go over to the website patchworkheart.org slash shroud. Um, and, you know, I think Kent put it up on the screen uh, just a little, little bit ago so you can see what that looks like. But yeah, um, head over there and just, you know, register, you know, your parish or your group. Um, and, you know, we'll get in touch with you right away. Um, you know, we'll get in touch with you right away and, you know, get your showings if you want to have, you know, a, pu a public showing someplace. We'll help you, uh, you know, get get the files and, and the promotional materials and everything that you need to make that happen. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to support you because we want this to be a success and we want people to learn and grow about, you know, in, in their faith with Jesus Christ. Again, this is a spiritual journey through the shroud. And that's the most important thing to keep laser focused on is that, you know, we're doing this because um, we love Jesus and we want to spread the, the word about him and draw people closer to him. That's the whole reason why we're doing this. That's the reason why we have these brainstorming sessions. It's, it's you know, uh, all the other things are secondary. Uh, it's, it's really inspiring people and moving them closer to the heart of Jesus. Um, and you, you can't help but do that when you uh, encounter the shroud. And as Kent said earlier, you know, the, the people that are walking away from exhibits, the people that are walking away that have dedicated their lives to the study of this, they, every single one of them walks away going, oh, wow, there's nothing else I can believe but this. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, I'm, I'm super blessed and excited um, to be able to uh, be a part of this project uh, with you, Kent. And uh, I'm just, 
honored and can't wait for it to come on out. <laughs> yeah, it's just an exciting time, isn't it? I mean, I think it's just the perfect time. Also, like you mentioned, the pandemic and um, and I think there were a lot of fruits during the pandemic and maybe one of them were these collaborative efforts, even like this very show. This is episode 96. So if you guys can believe it, we've been around for two years. I want to thank both of you. If it wasn't for Kent and Jennifer, Kent Kohoski and Jennifer Sinclair for weekly producing Journeys in Faith on Fiat Ministry Network, just give you the thanks, not just for me, but my audience here and also Bill Snyder for all he does and for the podcasting that we do with Sewing Hope on Patchwork Heart on YouTube and, and patchworkheartradio.org. So thank you both. Did, did you have any final words before we end the program on anything else? We'll start with Kent, maybe if there was anything you wanted to share. Well, I, I think one thing, you know, the final, sh you know, the share about it is take advantage of what you can, you know, learn from the shroud and encounter. I, I think that's the whole thing of, um, why we're trying to share that and kind of make it more personal. Uh, that's one thing, you know, a lot of times you get the studies and, and you will get that. You'll, you'll get this site, you know, all the scientific uh, uh, information and the history and everything also in here. But then you also get the personal encounters and, and we have, you know, some um, great people uh, just asked to, you know, share about what they thought about the shroud and, and they get their, you know, your personal kind of ideas and thoughts of, the, of, of the shroud. I had, you know, a, a priest that really got, you know, shared. I, I know Bill had a couple of uh, people in, uh, with his group, uh, share, and, and that's really what I like is that personal encounter on top of everything, the, the history, the scientific, uh, uh, facts that are shared. Um, it's the, it, the personal encounter. I, I think mm. that's what it's all about. That's why I think Bill and I were talking about at the beginning, we want to make it a personal encounter. And so a personal encounter with a shroud. Yeah. Bingo. Beautiful. I think you hit it right on the head. And um, just just know that you will be challenged to answer the question, who do you say I am? This is a personal and direct challenge from Jesus himself. He says it in the Gospels. That's that's the line from, from the Gospels, right? The synoptics, Jesus asks um, his apostles, who do you say I am? Well, the shroud... Um, also asks us that question when we study it, when we encounter it, it asks us that question. And so you will be asked that question. Who do you say I am as you watch and you encounter um, the, the shroud from the angle of faith, not just purely science? Hmm. So well said. I like what both of you expressed there, Kent, with the personal encounter and Bill, you leaving it with that question at the end. I mean, it's so important for all of us to ask uh, ourselves, who do we say that Jesus is? So I just want to encourage each and every one of you watching to keep your eyes open, support this effort, and please share this video. Share it with a friend. Let your friends know. Let your archdiocese know. Let your church know, your pastors. So I thank you both, Bill and Kent, so much for being a guest. We're going to have to do this more often have this reunion of the three of us on, on this program. Because I know we used to do a little bit more often, but hope we can come back again to do a follow-up. Yeah. Absolutely. Sounds Thanks, great. Eric. Sure. We'll see all of you here next week on Journeys in Faith on Fiat Ministry Network. God bless. Journeys of Faith is a production of Fiat Ministry Network and Patchwork Heart Ministry. For more information about Journeys of Faith, email info at fiatministrynetwork.com.
www.thepodcast.tv. And be sure to friend, follow, and like us on social media. Just search Journeys in Faith with Ann DeSantis.